Ladies and gentlemen, whoa, I'd like to introduce y'all to somebody you already know. See, girl, a man. Uh-huh. A man. Ladies and gentlemen, shop this. Hey guys. Um, welcome back to another episode with Josh Dawkins. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys my style on how to paint the sexy shad paint job on a crankbait. So hang tight with me. I'll get back with you guys shortly. I'm going to finish setting up and then um, we will go from there. And uh, if you guys like these videos, if there's something you guys would like to see in particular, a specific paint, paint job style or whatever um, that you're just having trouble with trying to uh, figure out how to put it all together and I'm able to help you out with that feel free to comment or send me a message uh, you can find me on Facebook Josh Dawkins um, I have a group on Facebook it is Mob Boss Tackle so, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, you guys need any help with anything, uh, feel free to send me a message and we'll go from there. So, hang tight, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, here we go. We're going to get started. So, what we're going to start off with on this one is, we're going to base coat this. Uh, white. The white I'm using on this is uh, Wicked Colors, Wicked Opaque White. Once we got that covered really good, let that sit, clean out the airbrush. We're gonna dry this lure real quick. All right, next, I wanna go over that entire lure with some pearl white. And this pearl white is by Testers. Um, so we're going to go ahead, get a good cover over this lure and pearl white all the way around it. When you're doing this, if you're new to airbrushing, which I take it you probably are if you're watching my videos, um, you don't want to lay it on too thick. You end up getting runs and that's no good. So uh, lay it on softly and uh, go from there. You can, out, you can always add more, but you can never take away. In case you couldn't hear me. You can always add more, but you can't take away. So, next, 
we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take some let me see if I can find it there we go we're gonna take some mesh and we're gonna uh, cover this lure with some mesh and dry it off a little bit better Just take some of this mesh. You want to get a nice tight fit. in there. Take one of these tiny ones. Alright, so next, what we're going to do, we're going to take some dark gray, opaque, made, also made by testers. What we're going to do with this is we're going to go, we're going to start across the back, we're going to start across the back and work our way down um, across the upper back. I don't want to go too far down the sides, but just probably about eye level and just go down each side with the gray. So we'll get that going. Dry it real quick. Uh, 
Okay. The next step we want to do is make sure you guys can see this. next step we want to do with this is we're going to take, let's go with some Wicked Colors, uh, Wicked Yellow, put this gray back real quick. Alright, so we're gonna take this wicked colors, wicked yellow. We're gonna do a thin yellow line. Let me see. Use this toothbrush to show you. We're gonna do a thin yellow line right under that gray. Going back. We're gonna we're gonna do it from the back of the eye socket, from the back of the eye socket, and go straight back. This you want to do. You want to go as slow as possible. I mean, you can move down it kind of fast, but you want to. You don't want to pull back on your trigger too far. You want to do a thin line. So if you are, if you're already good at doing thin lines, then you, you know exactly what to do. But uh, if you if you're not familiar with it, practice on a piece of paper first or something until you get it down pretty good. Because this part you do not want to mess up on. like that. Clean the brush up. Next, we're going to take some uh, testers, opaque, turquoise, and we're going to go across the back and come down over some of this gray right before it starts to, to get lighter down the sides, and then we'll stop. Start from the top, work your way down. Drop me out. Alright. Love you. Alright, love you. Just like that. Next, we're going to clean up the airbrush and add some black.
All right, we're going to take some wicked colors, wicked black. We're going to add a couple of shad dots. We're going to add one right around in here on each side. And this you want to you want to go you want to start off slow too. Just like that. Same on the other side. color in the eye sockets. And there you go. There is a beautiful, sexy shad. And um, all you have left to do is add eyeballs and clear coat it if you're unfamiliar with what type of clear coat to use uh, I recommend DevCon 2 ton epoxy what you'll do with that is pour some in a little cup a little disposable cup and uh, paint it on with a paintbrush once you've painted it on with a paintbrush your next step is take your blow dryer blow dry it because you want to make sure you pop any air bubbles that may be left on it and once you've done that you're good to go so throw a couple eyeballs on here real quick for you guys to see, to see what it's going to look like There we go. All right, let's uh, zoom out. I'll bring it in closer for you. There's a, there's a finished sexy shad before the clear coat is done. All you have left to do is add your clear coat, whatever your preference is, and she's finished. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if there's anything in particular you would like to see me paint, please leave me a comment. Please like the video. Please subscribe and please share the video um, and as always I'll try to upload at least one new video a week I'll try to get a couple in but with work and everything else it's a bit difficult so I will do the best that I can um, so yeah thanks for watching Models, popping bottles. Hey!